1424 once again with NASCAR 2005, Chase for the Cup. And in this episode of our season with Dale Jarrett's number 88 UPS Ford, we're going to be completing race 20 of 34, which is going to take place at Watkins Glen International for the Sirius at the Glen. I really don't understand why it has to be named that, even the track's name is kind of weird because it doesn't say raceway or whatever. But it's going to be a seven-lap race and our second road course race of the season. We finished in second at Infineon Raceway because the default car setup was kind of weird. It couldn't even handle tire wear. It was a bit better once we took our pit stop, but we had a long ways to go and didn't get there in time. Tony Stewart won that race. Now, I think we're going to do better at this race because I've had a little bit more experience racing at this track in this game. And uh, it's, it's a pretty decent car. It's Dale Jarrett's UPS Ford, like I said. In the last episode, we raced at Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Brickyard 400. Finished in 23rd place there, which is not our worst finish of the season because we still finished 24th at Dover. It could have been worse because the whole last lap was where the tire was the worst. Had people all over me. It was really stressful, but glad we got that out of the way. We don't have to go back to that track at all during the season. We've got harder tracks coming up, but um, I think we can get a good finish at this race right here. And um, we lost the points lead as well in the last race to Jeff Gordon. And Dale Jr. is also in front of us, so we're 58 points back. Let's go into qualifying and see if we get a good start this track. Here we come off of the final corner. We're going to start our first lap of qualifying here at Watkins Glen. Um, I'm not exactly sure if Tower is going to play a big factor in this race or not. It kind of did at Sonoma. Of course, our car setup was making that worse than it was supposed to be, I, I guess. Now, um, this car is handling really well right now. I don't have to slow down too much for any of these corners. But, um,. Tower is going to probably make sure I have to do that. Right now, I'm totally screwed up this part of the track because the car won't do anything I tell it to do. I don't know. I mean, you have to do one thing perfectly right as you come off that turn going up the hill. Otherwise, it just doesn't do anything you tell it to do anymore. I'm going way too slow at this part of the track. You know, my outlap was perfect, but this lap sucks. And now the car is driving like garbage. We're all damaged. Yeah, this is what happens whenever you try commentating a YouTube video. It makes things difficult. That's a good thing. You know, it's a good thing that this is making me drive like crap, otherwise we'd start well. If I already get a pole on this lap, that would actually blow me away. That would not make much sense, but we might. Okay, trying to go faster this turn. This car likes to slide around a bit. Guess it means we have more grip than I'm expecting us to have. Okay, so how bad was that? I don't even know what my goal lap time is. And I got the pole. Destruction! Starting on the inside of Jeff Gordon, we've got Jimmy Johnson and Ryan Newman back there behind us. Green flag is out. We're underway for seven laps here at Watkins Glen. In the first corner, got to get hard on the brakes. Jimmy Johnson's just going to plow right into me. They're going to get really slow off the corner for some reason. I don't know why they off the gas once they got off, but they did. Jimmy Johnson just went plowing into me, like I said. I don't know why they can't just use their brakes going in and stop slowing down off, but... I mean, if they, if they were more aggressive at this track, it would be more challenging, but I'm already pulling away. Now, I'm just going to keep on leading, and we're going to see if Tyler ever brings any competition into this. Golly, car. I mean, I get that you have Tyler, but that doesn't mean the car just don't flat out work anymore. I mean, I'm already going some freaking 40 miles an hour into the corners. As you can see, I have a massive lead. I'm not running out of fuel, apparently. Yeah, this is how the car drives on worn tires. My front tires are dead. It says very low fuel. I assume that means I have to go down pit road now. The tires are really worn to the point where the car doesn't want to do anything. Like, I mean, it's, it's not like where the car can't hurt unless I slow it down a ton. It's to the point where it doesn't matter how much I slow it down, period. The car is not going to reach certain parts of the track ever. <laughs> I'd have to slow it down to like 20 to get some parts of these tracks. Okay. So, we've got this 45 second lead, fuel tank almost empty, so yeah, we do have to take a pit stop to make it all the way across the freaking track. I find it very odd that I can make it all the way to the end of lap 6, though. Okay, this car is over here turning whenever I'm not even telling it to at this point. Okay, so we'll get down pit road. Just gotta be at at least, um, or at most, 70 miles per hour, whatever. Okay, so we'll take four tires, a full tank of fuel, and, um... Car setup is fine. I need tires so I can actually drive the car. Um, it's the last lap of the race now because I just passed the start finish line. Really long freaking pit road. Watch me just flat out lose this race because I stayed out too long or something. I mean, that's how bad the car was driving. The car was driving so bad on these tires. 
whenever I started like lap six that this car is just gonna lose me all that freaking time with the tires and stuff. Okay, hurry up. Hurry up. We do not have all day. I mean, I guess we do, I don't know. I can see through their legs my shadows of the car or something. I don't know. Okay. I, I think I hear traffic now. Go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, here's some shit right here. Jimmy Johnson, get back here. Get back here, Jimmy. Jimmy! No! Jimmy! Come over here! I have completely fresh tires. Oh, my God. I'm getting such a run off this turn right here. Okay, I'm not passing him right here. Uh, I'm on the brakes, and he slams the brakes right in front of me, and he goes sliding off the track. That's not my fault, because I hit the brakes before he did. And then he started braking extremely heavy. Like, I can't even brake that hard. But we, we're going to get the lead back. That was something, though. That was really interesting. Oh, that's how much time I lost whenever my tires got worn on, like, lap 5 and 6. So, we'll just take these last few turns, and we're going to finally get our third win of the season. Could have been, like, our sixth if we hadn't lost a bunch of other races before this. Um, you know, I'm not going to take the blame for crashing into the back of him going into that uh, chicane a while ago. Because, I mean, I honestly was going to break early instead of trying to pass right there, but then he did that. Okay, then. I guess his worn tires made him want to do that. So, let's do some donuts. It's been ages. It's been ages. Practically skipped the entire freaking race pointless video, but I like winning and I haven't won in a while. Okay, game. Um, how do you do reverse? Okay, it's triangle. This is not some other NASCAR game where it's a square button. I can't believe Ogre trying to press the square button to be in reverse. What games have I been playing? Donuts! Dale Nuts! What can Brown do for you? Chocolate coat! My Dale Nuts! Dale Nuts! We started in first place and finished in first place. Led every single lap in that race. Wow, compared to the last race, that's that's a lot of domination. Of course, we're definitely not going to have the points lead again because Jeff Gordon finished right there behind us in third place after starting in second. Jimmy Johnson started in third and finished in second. Kevin Harvick started in tenth and finished in fourth. Mark Martin started eighth and finished in fifth. Where did Dale Nard Jr. finish? He was, uh, like 20-something points in front of me. Ryan Newman started 4th and finished in 6th. Jeff Burton started 16th and finished in 7th. Robbie Gordon started 5th and finished in 8th. Rusty Wallace started 7th and finished in 9th. And Dale Nard Jr. started 13th and finished in 10th. So, I think that we might have gotten back into 2nd place, but I'm pretty sure we don't have the points lead back again. And even if we do get the points lead... I'm sorry, I just hit my camera with the freaking wire. Um, even if we do, um get the points lead back after this race, we're probably going to lose it because Michigan is such a tough track for us. Michigan, where um, Jeff Gordon just flat out dumped me into the outside wall last time we came there. But uh, here are the rest of the race results. Ricky Craven started 6th and finished in 18th. Other stuff if you want to look at it. Blah, blah, blah. This game is so freaking laggy. I mean, it's not as laggy as Na NASCAR 9, but this game is still pretty freaking laggy. I'm trying to get through all these race results as fast as possible because I know this video is almost pointless and how much racing there is in it compared to all the stats and intro and qualifying and standing nonsense. But um, Taylor Swift, start 24th, finish 43rd. Woohoo! Taylor Swift. After the series at the Glen, we are 33 points behind Jeff Gordon in second place. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is in third, 64 points behind Jeff Gordon, which I think is like 31 points behind me. Ryan Newman is in fourth, 162 points back. Jimmy Johnson is in fifth, 202 points back. Tony Stewart is in sixth, 312 points back. Kurt Busch, seventh, 475 back. Matt Kenseth, eighth, 483 back. Elliot Sadler, ninth, 523 back. And Kevin Harvick is in tenth, 602 back. I think Matt Kenseth might be finally cooling down quite a bit because we haven't had to confront him in the past few races. I mean, you know, we just went to, um, before Watkins Glen, we were at the Brickyard and we never came anywhere near Matt Kenseth and we obviously didn't come anywhere near anybody aside from Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon at Watkins Glen. So I think it might be actually cooling down. That, that's actually something that doesn't happen if it's a fancy driver. They stay pissed off until they race with you again, which is something I noticed big time in NASCAR Thunder 2004 career mode back whenever I used to play that all the time. 
because it was weird. Like, I would have this huge rivalry, and in the stats it said that the rivalry was really bad, and it wouldn't change until I race with them again. And I wouldn't even notice when I race them because the fancy drivers suck, and they're always in the back of the field in that game. But in this game, they're really good. So whenever there are fancy drivers in the field, you notice their presence. I cannot believe I went so in-depth in that topic, but yeah. Tim Wagner's still in 34th place, where he belongs. Yay. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time for the GFS Marketplace 400, an actual good race and a good video. I'm pretty sure a lot of people were let down by this road course race and video. A lot of people always go viewing the road course races in my seasons, but this game has horrible road course races. I mean, you just freaking dominate them, and you do the other races in the season, and you always fall through the field like a freaking rock because of tire wear. It's weird. That would have been a much more interesting battle to the finish with Jimmy Johnson had he not flat out braked right in front of me going into the chicane. I slammed on the brakes before him, but his brakes are apparently much better than mine. And he has worn tires, so that really doesn't make sense. Well, see you next time. That's that, and episode over.